Welcome to a new vlog. Today on my workbench we have the Mixig MDP701 differential probe and this is a new model uh, freshly out of the Mixig factory. We have a date code of 21 of September and we're going to do a review of it. But before we start with that I would like to uh, thank Mixig for sending this unit for the purpose of uh, the review. The unit was provided for free through their EU distributor lshop.eu and I will post a link to their website in the description below. I highly recommend you check out their website if you are looking to purchase some test gear in the EU. They have awesome service and customer support so do check them out. So Mixig used to have the uh, DP series of uh, high voltage uh, differential probes and we have looked at the DP10013 about two years ago Excellent device, awesome performance, probably the best price to uh, performance and quality ratio that you could get on the market. And as a result, a lot of people just uh, purchased uh, one from this series, which made it very popular. I still use it whenever I need to do a high voltage measurement on my oscilloscope. I'm not sure if I should go into the uh, reasons why you might need or want a high voltage differential probe on your workbench. This has been discussed in uh, multiple videos of mine including in the DP series review. Maybe I'll just quickly mention it. It's for your own safety and your equipment safety because you can then safely connect this probe to a few hundreds even thousands of volts let's say on mains power supply circuit without the risk of shorting the oscilloscope ground which is mains or reference to some high voltage line that is derived from mains live and there is also a performance advantage as such a differential probe can achieve a very high common mode rejection ratio which will improve the accuracy and quality of your measurement before i continue with the review let me quickly mention the sponsor of this video pcbway.com which is a professional pcb manufacturer who is currently running their sixth annual project design contest where by simply presenting your project you get a chance to win some really cool prizes but if you're not interested in a contest you can always just place a pcb or pcb assembly order on their website check out their link in the description below so if mixig already had a great differential probe what's the deal with this new mdp series you might ask well first of all there is no reason to stop innovating this is how you get to the top but it's important to mention that this new mdp series is derived from their cutting edge optical fiber isolated probe which they have trade marketed as sig ofit so i'm guessing they took the um, at least the front end analog technology from that lineup uh, minus the fiber optic to put it in this package and make it more affordable for the average consumer that does not need the optical fiber isolation feature. This means that with the new MDP series you get a series of benefits over the previous DP series. In fact you get benefits across the entire specification list. The bandwidth used to be limited to 100 megahertz. It can now go up to 200 megahertz depending on the specific model you choose and I was told that they're also working on a 500 megahertz version which is coming soon. The common mode rejection ratio has been improved as well and is now specified as better than minus 26 db at 100 megahertz whereas the previous model only specified it up to 1 megahertz at dc this is specified as better than minus 80 db as with all of the other mixing products they do have a very premium finish and look for this product in particular they went with a metal uh, feels like some form of aluminium enclosure for the part that plugs into the oscilloscope and for this uh, front end section it feels like a very smooth uh, matte black finish it all feels very premium uh, cables feel like high quality they have a very nice strain relief it's what you would expect from a top name manufacturer inside the box you also get a set of these grab hook test clips a couple of a couple of alligator clips and a usb type c cable which is different from the uh, usb type b that they had on the uh, previous uh, series the dp there's also a downgrade from the previous model uh, which uh, used to come with this very nice protective carry case well we no longer get this it just comes in in a cardboard box and i'm guessing that's a cost cutting measure it's kind of unpleasant for me personally because this is a the type of instrument that i don't use as often so i definitely need some kind of storage case uh, just to keep it nice and tidy so now i'll have to just search for an appropriate uh, size eva case to carry all of this 
they also removed these uh, sharp multimeter style um, measuring probes from the new MDP series but that's not something that I will miss because I never used those ones uh, which were included with the DP series it's just for me it's not very practical to probe with those uh, when I'm messing around with a PCB that has high voltages. I just want my probes safely attached and my hands generally away from them. Now it wouldn't be a complete review if I wouldn't show an actual use case with, with an actual measurement and even though I do not have a test setup capable of showing you the high CMRR or the higher bandwidth of this newer probe that's just because my power supply circuit here is switching at a pretty low frequency but I can still hook the probe up and show you some measurements of an active switching device from a power supply operating on mains voltage and all of that can happen safely uh, due to using uh, this differential probe. So this is a bench adjustable uh, switch mode power supply which I have connected to my electronic load to simulate various loads and voltages and we are connecting the uh, differential uh, probe, the MixSig uh, MDP series uh, to one of the uh, MOSFETs which is actively switching the mains voltage into one of these uh, transformers. You wouldn't be able to safely do this with a uh, classic uh, oscilloscope probe because you might accidentally short the uh, measured signal to mains earth through your ground clip but with this there is no risk of that happening. Now if this waveform was switching at a high rate of 100 MHz we would be able to see an important difference between using the older DP series probe versus the newer one which has a higher bandwidth. We would effectively be seeing a cleaner uh, signal with a higher amplitude with the newer probe. One thing we can observe in this experiment is how the waveform changes while adjusting for example voltage up and down as I'm doing right now or how it will change if I leave the voltage fixed but I increase the load. Quite an interesting thing to watch with the inner workings of a switch mode power supply control loop. One feature that is new on the MDP series is the new 5 MHz bandwidth limit switch which is on the probe itself. This will for sure come in handy for those that want to remove unwanted noise from their measurements. Sure you have the 20 MHz cutoff filter option on your oscilloscope but uh, this can drop it even further down to 5 MHz to remove unwanted noise from your measurements and it's clearly visible uh, that when I enable the filter the waveform gets much cleaner. So this is a very interesting new series of differential probes from MixSig. I'm not sure if they're going to continue to manufacture the uh, older DP series as well because well if you're not interested in getting the latest and highest performance probe and you don't do higher frequency measurements and you don't need the higher uh, common mode the rejection ratio that you get with the new MDP series then maybe you can purchase the older DP series for less um, it certainly is still a very good product. For example, the uh, DP1007 is available for just 166 euros on LA Shop versus uh, 260 euros for the newer MDP series. And the, like I said, the DP1007 uh, is still an excellent uh, differential probe that uh, you can use. So yeah, the newer MDP series is great. They have uh, improved performance on pretty much all of the uh, specs of the unit over the DP series and uh, if you're in the market for a new differential probe and want to get the best performance get the newer MDP series otherwise you, you're still going to be just fine with the older DP series this is still a pretty new product so they are slowly ramping up production on these and distributors are slowly getting them in stock. LA Shop now shows this as uh, delivered in 10 days so I think you shouldn't wait too long for yours if you place your order now you'll be one of the first ones to receive it. That was all for today thank you for watching and if you found this video useful please give it a thumbs up if you'd like to support me making more videos you can do it on my patreon with as little as one dollar per month Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you next time.